Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. A truck driver begins delivery at 9 a.m. and travels 150 miles before taking a 30-minute break. He travels another 128 miles uh, before, let me just kind of scroll down here, uh, before arriving at his destination at 2 p.m. Okay, so the question here is, what is his average driving rate? And this uh, word rate uh, implies speed. Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course we'll walk through step-by-step -step exactly how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before I show you the answer, let's take one more look at the problem. Okay, so we have a truck driver. He uh, sets out to do his deliveries. He starts at 9 a.m., and then he travels 150 miles. Now, uh, after that, he's going to take a 30-minute break, so i.e. he is not driving. Then he's going to travel another 128 miles. Let me kind of screw down here. Arriving at his final destination at 2 p.m. So the question is, is what is his average? And this uh, uh, word right here is important, average, uh, average driving rate. Okay, so that is the question. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is approximately 61.7 miles per hour. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of solving time distance. Uh, these type of problems in math are often referred to as motion problems, but there's two things that we need to understand about uh, this problem. One of which is a formula, okay? And if you don't know what formula that is, of course, I'll show you that. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, now before I even start, um, there's actually a very important, uh, you know, word in this problem, and that is average, okay? So his average driving speed, because he's going from here, and then he stops, uh, then he continues on and he finishes up his trip. So, you know, in real life, a truck or a car is not going to go one speed. It's not always going this actual speed all the time. It's accelerating. It's kind of, you know, doing, it's going up and down, speeding up a little bit, and then kind of decelerating and stopping, right? So in actuality, if you wanted to, you know, technically, you know, solve uh, this problem in real life to get a very precise problem, you would actually need uh, calculus, okay, because we'd be talking about stuff called instantaneous uh, uh, velocity, et cetera, et cetera. So for some of you out there that are pretty advanced in math, you may have noticed that, but this word average, you know, kind of distinguishes this problem that, hey, look, we're just looking for the average speed, and that is it. Okay, so let's go and get into this right now. So we have a, a pretty good size math word problem. And uh, you always want to use something called the rule of three. This is my rule, which is read the problem at least three times. Now, I've already read the problem a few times to you, but if you were uh, looking at this problem for the first time, there's a lot of information here that you have to digest, and you got to understand, the uh, obviously, the question, right, which is the average uh, driving rate. Now, this word rate okay, implies velocity or speed. So obviously we're thinking about, okay, what was the average speed of the truck as he was doing these deliveries? Okay, now if you don't understand something in a problem, make sure you raise your hand if you are a student, ask your teacher or get clarification to it because if you don't understand the problem, there's no way you can solve it. Okay, now once you understand the problem, what you want to do is model the problem. And in this particular uh, case, we have a situation where we're dealing with uh, miles, okay, distance. We're also dealing with time, and we're looking for speed or rate. So when you have that type of situation in math, you need to know a formula, 
And that formula is the following, okay? So rate times time is equal to distance. We'll get to modeling this problem here in a second. But this uh, formula is an absolute must-know formula. Matter of fact, I would suggest putting this into your long-term memory. Let's take a look at a, a quick example of how this works. So uh, rate, again, implies like speed. So if a car goes 60 miles per hour and it travels one hour, what was its distance? Okay, how far did it go? Okay, so a car traveling 60 miles per hour uh, for one hour went how far? Well, if you said 60 miles, you would be absolutely correct because rate times time is equal to distance. Now, there's one thing here that we need to uh, pay close attention to is that the speed or the rate of this car, in this example, is 60 miles per hour. Let me write this up here real quick. 60 miles per hour. That means 60 miles. The car is going 60 miles per every one hour. So when we do this math right here, 60 miles per one hour, you see what happens is the units of measure hours cross cancel and we're left with miles. So when you uh, apply this formula to figure out uh, rate, uh, time, distance problems, you need to be very aware of the units of measure, units of measure, okay? So it's 60 miles per hour. If we multiply our time in hours, our distance will be in miles. Okay, so as long as you understand that, then the next step to uh, solving this problem is to model out this situation. All right, and the best way to do that is to come up with a quick, lovely sketch. And this is where math can be fun because one person's sketch can be different from another person's. But looking at the prom, you know, if you can see the prom, you can oftentimes see the solution easier. So here is a situation. We have this truck. So at 9 a.m., this truck driver sets off on a delivery and travels 150 miles and then stops, right? Because he's been taking a 30-minute break. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be driving and taking a break at the same time. And then he's going to continue on. And uh, from after his 30-minute break, tra uh, tra travel another 128 miles, excuse me, uh, and then stop at 2 p.m. And then he is done. So the question is, is what is the average speed of this truck? Okay, so this truck is going an average speed. It stops and then it continues on. All right, so again, not so realistic in terms of the actual speed, okay? Um, you know, in terms of the situation because the truck is actually accelerating and doing all this kind of other stuff. But for this particular problem, when we use this formula, rate times time is equal to distance, when we solve for the rate, this gives us the average speed, okay? All right, so hopefully you're like, oh, okay, I know what to do now, Mr. YouTube Math Man. You give me all the information I need to solve this problem. So let's go and take the next step. And of course, that is figuring out the actual specific uh, units here or the actual components to this equation. So that's rate, time, and distance, right? Rate, time, and distance. So the question is asking for what is the average rate? So this is what we're looking for right here. So what do we have? Well, we have time and we have distance. Okay, so what is the total driving time? Well, uh, this truck driver drove from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, that's five hours, but he took a 30-minute break. So five hours minus 30 minutes is 4.5 hours of actual driving time. Okay, so that is how uh, many hours the truck was actually in motion okay so that's important so what is the total distance well this is pretty easy to figure out that's 150 miles plus 120 uh, 128 miles so the total distance is uh, 278 miles okay finally now we have everything we need in order to solve this problem but first uh, we need to plug it into this equation so rate times time is equal to distance Again, we're looking to solve for R. So at this point, this is basic algebra. Okay, so you want to solve this equation for R. And if you know how to do that, well, that is fantastic. Let's go and take a look at the answer right now. But first, we're going to take a look at this. And that is my invitation for you to smash that subscribe button. I need your help to continue to grow my channel. Uh, last year was actually a great year for me on YouTube. I think I got like... Uh, 34 million views, something crazy like that. And I'm very grateful for that. I feel, I hope that I've helped a lot of people in math. And, uh, you 
you know, that's how I kind of operate. I'm just going to assume that I did, and I need to continue to build on that momentum. And to, uh, right now, as I'm posting or making this video, it's 2024. So last year, I made around 730 uh, videos for YouTube. My goal for this year is uh, to make 100 YouTube videos. So, you know, I'm setting a goal, right? I'm, I want to get better. And that's what you have to do in math, okay? If you are wanting to really learn math, you have to set new goals. If you're like, hey, I just finished algebra, well, then learn geometry. If you're done with geometry, maybe uh, learn algebra two. If you're done with algebra two, maybe uh, set the goal of learning pre-calculus and then maybe calculus. So every time you get to another level in math, you know, you're achieving another goal, okay? So I think if you can look at learning math in that respect as, hey, I'm setting a goal and achieving a goal, when you achieve something, okay, particularly, you know, when you conquered, you know, uh, your goal, your whatever you were setting out to do, you know, you get a great deal of um, you know, self-confidence from that. And so for me, this year, it's the beginning of a new year. I really need to try, try to expand upon the momentum, but I need your help. And the best way you can support my work is to hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. Thanks so much for giving me a, t a little bit of time to tell you about my goals and hopefully you have some great math goals. And now let's go ahead and get into the rest of this prom because there's not that much to do. Okay, so rate times time is equal to distance. So we have the time. We're going to go ahead and plug in 4.5 uh, for that. And then we have the distance and that's 278. And we know that our units of measure for time is in hours. Our units of measure here is in miles. So our rate is going to be miles per hour. Okay, so that's what our answer is going to be. So we have R times 4.5 is equal to 278. We can just drop the units of measure. So to solve for R, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4.5, and we get uh, R is equal to 278 divided by uh, 4.5, which is approximately 61.7. Again, uh, the unit of measure here is miles per hour. Okay, so if you need more help with these type of uh, problems, I have a ton of math word problems uh, on my YouTube channel. But uh, if you need help with the algebra or any other math, uh, check out my full main courses. You'll find links to all of those in the description. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.